Welcome back to another adventure. Uh, this time we were out at the Josephine mine. Um, this thing is uh, one of the largest abandoned mines in Washington state, uh, over a mile of uh, underground workings. Um, it used to actually go under the Pendorial um, River there. And once they started pulling more ore out from the east side of the river, uh, they decided to sink another shaft there at the Pendorial mine. Um, so this is all connected with that. Uh, Tech owns the uh, Pendorial mine, um, you know, so that's uh, not really accessible. Um, but uh, this is all the original workings. Um, like I said, it's, uh, I think it was originally the Clark, um, then they uh, changed it to the Josephine. And uh, some, some of the uh, old pictures and stuff, it'll call it the uh, Pendorial West mine because it's on the west side of the river. Uh, but uh, this thing is just huge, over a mile of uh, workings um, just in the Josephine area. And uh, so we spent a good four hours underground and checked out every little nook and cranny we could. Um, and uh, teamed up with uh, Ian and his dad from Something Differently and uh, Jonathan again. And uh, it was a, a really great explore. Lots of lots to see in there. Huge stopes. Um, lots of uh, artifacts left in there. We ended up running across a uh, um, stick of dynamite, you know, that had uh, just kind of laying there in the in the uh, dynamite box pieces and stuff. So uh, that was kind of exciting. Um, lots of other cool stuff to see. Um, in fact, uh, I got about an hour and a half, a little over an hour and a half of footage in this thing. Um, so I'm going to break it up into part one and part two. And uh, hopefully you'll uh, stick around and enjoy both parts with me. And uh, we'll uh, see you uh, on the next one. All right, so this is the uh, first look inside. Um, me and uh, Jonathan came in here. Uh, we're gonna get geared up in our uh, waders and waiting on uh, Ian and his dad to drop okay, down in here. Drop it. And uh, we'll get all geared up and See what we can see in here. It's gonna be a good one. Get going down this uh, main tunnel here. Pretty good sized tunnel, I don't know. Looks like they had tracks in here, but I wonder if they uh, ran trucks in here at one point. Oh, there's a, damn it. I just covered it, but there's a drill for uh, replaceable tips. It's got the threaded section there on the end, uh, except the threaded uh, drill bit tips. Just heading on. We're out here today with uh, Jonathan and Ian and his dad. And we're gonna see if we can uh, get through this whole thing today. From what I hear, the uh, the water gets quite a bit deeper once we get in here a ways. After there's a, there's a little dam in here a ways in, there's some um, insulators. They had all the wire and stuff hanging on. Yeah, it's knee deep by now, so it's looking pretty good. A little, that's a pretty good picture there. A uh, little side pocket here. Doesn't look like they were doing anything but getting out of the way there. Pretty cool yellow to the um, flowstone in here. Picture of that. And not to drop my phone in this water, but. Got a little bit of a raise right here. Uh, doesn't look like it goes to anything, just faces out right there. Pretty good. Here's a look back at them at the entrance. Like they're uh, taking a bit to get caught up, so I won't go too fast, but and, uh, and another drill bit right there. Lots of stuff in the water here, but 
Hard to, hard to tell what it all is. Here's a glove. Nice to finally get into this thing. Uh, this is one of the biggest um, mines here in Washington State and uh, mined from about 1910 up to 1977 I believe was the, uh, the last year that anybody really worked this. Starting to dry up a little bit. There's some uh, more insulators. We had a bunch of bunch of wire headed back here. Probably get up here a little ways and uh, wait up for them to catch up. You know, uh, Ian's probably filming too, so we'll... Oh, that's... Huh, somebody's had a tractor in here. That's definitely a uh, tractor tread. That's kind of weird. Huh. Probably the last people in. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, keep heading on here a little ways and let them catch up. A little bit of cable and some rail here. Uh, a big hook in the wall here for some reason. Some more insulators and stuff. Looks like they're finally making their way this way. Looks like we might be coming up on something here. Oh, that's the dam. Coming up on the dam now, so we'll uh, wait, wait up for them. But uh, there's some more uh, hook in the wall. And you can kind of faintly see here, the tractor tread. Um, so they must have hauled all these bags in here with a tractor. There's a uh, tie for the, uh, or a, a strap to tie the two rails together. Oh, cool. The rail starts up in here. Uh, we got rail and more of them tractor, tractor tread. And here we are at the coffer dam. Almost worth uh, knocking some of that out of there. Bunch of clay there. I wonder if that's yeah, that's what they they filled those bags with clay. Kind of cool, but uh, oh. so there's the other side there. Oh yeah, there's a maybe a track switch or something. Uh, might have to go check that out. Got a drill bit in the ceiling there. Something hanging there. I think I might hop over while, uh, while they're making their way this way and check out this uh, track switch or whatever it is before the water gets all cloudy. Alright, so they're catching up here. We got to... Uh, the other side of the yeah. the uh, coffer dam here, and I'm gonna. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna check out first while the the water's clear. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> the air so coming. Bubbles coming up right there. Yeah. But uh, I got something here. I don't know what exactly that was. Um. It's a little over the knees right now. Ooh. Um, yeah, some kind of stand, looks like. But um, I got rail here still, so I'm not too concerned with the floor. And an eyelet up there. It does look like it just faces out back here, so maybe there is a a shaft or something seems like uh yeah 
there's something up here. There's a ladder. Got the rail down still. Got some pipe here. Got some hooks in the ceiling. Uh, it does kind of look like it's uh, a pretty good skip box there. Sound of water. A bunch of timbers in, in here right now. I don't know if that ladder goes up or down. Huh. Yeah, I can't tell what's going on here. Um, still seeing ground here. Got a little ladder. Oh, that goes up into something. There used to be a platform here that's collapsed. Looks like an ore chute. Um, there is a, a raise or a stope with a ladder. So I don't think this is a, a shaft. Yeah, there's a definitely a raise going up this way. Let me, let me see if I can get up that way. Um, uh, so this is the rays. Um, they're kind of wading through. We gotta make our way through this stuff. There was a couple of um, box pieces here. Yeah, and then this raise that Looks like it goes up to something right here. A little bit of, little bit of water running down. Just make sure I got good footing here. Uh, I'm cross up over there, I think. Boy, these wader boots suck. What is this? Some kind of, some kind of spike there. Flat spike. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, these make better waders than they do boots. That's gonna be slick. Huh? This stuff's actually pretty, pretty good. The calcite gives you some pretty good grip, I think. Oh. Okay. There's a rope. We can get up somewhere. I wonder if this, where this connects to, huh. Goes off to the left there, um, up there, up there, up there. Over here is all flooded. Kind of wonder, uh, oh, it comes out above. Oh, it goes up, <laughs> it goes up above where we just came out there. Um, so from here, I know we went to the left last, but, uh, I think from here we'll try and, uh, follow the right hand rule in here at least. <coughs> Lots of stuff on the ground here that I'm trying to look at in a little improvised box there. Um, some K, oh, I guess that's cable. I thought that was rope. But it goes off to that side. That's all flooded out and looks like it goes down further too. Oh yeah. Yeah, it goes down that way. And a ladder there in the in the uh, water. And I think we'll head up this way. Check this out, because it goes, yeah, it goes up and over around. Uh, where we just were, oh, probably up to that stope there. More cable here. Oh, ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. Hey, it's a um, railroad spike hammerhead. Yeah. So this is, yeah. I'm, oh, I don't need to do that. Um, up above where we came in here. 
Um, looks like there was a little station up there at the top. Um, and I'm sure there was probably wood across here when the mine was in operation. Um, there's an old hammer handle and uh, lots of cable laying around up here. Another eyelet in the, in the wall there. Kind of follow this around to the right and uh, see what we've got. Uh, lots of dynamite box pieces there. Got some chain. Uh, part part of a ladder. Oh, we got some bits up here too. Um, oh, I see. So there, that flat thing I found down in the rays, there's a couple more of them. They were um, wedges to drive in around those hooks. And then we saw that. Um, those were to, to grab chain or whatever and hook an eyelet on chain. I don't know if that really comes across, but that is super sparkly right there. That's gotta be some of the Galena. Um, I'll have to probably take a break just to look around this area um, and make sure we don't miss anything. Um, that, oh, there's another, Another thing up there, looks like just a pocket maybe. Wonder how you'd get to that. Looks like there's a dynamite box in it or some, something. Might be worth the climb, hole down that way. Uh, oh, down to the water? No? Oh, it's dry. Oh, it's right at the... Yeah, it's at the edge. The edge, do you see their lights? No? Does this connect to that? The water goes all the way. Oh yeah, you can see the barely the edge of the water right down there. Yeah. Um, I just wasn't down. seeing your guys' light come down this way, so that's why I wondered. Yeah, there's definitely water right there. Yeah. But actually, I think that's below. Because I'm seeing water like right below right there. Mm -hmm. That's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe it bat undercuts under that or something. So... Big, yeah, another hook there, hook there. There's one, where was I? Uh, oh, down in that little uh, area down there that was out of the wall and a couple of those shims were right next to it. It was yeah. kind of cool looking. Got a muck sheet there. I think that, Got a, that will pass goes down to the other tunnel, the other direction to the right from the dam. Okay. I think that does, because there is a tunnel that goes yeah, right yeah. down to that tunnel. Or or yeah, that's what I was thinking is we shouldn't be too far off of that that main tunnel coming in on the right. Um, goes off this way. So we can't really, I don't think we should really try for that one. Could probably run and jump that way, but I don't think you could run and jump coming back. Uh, and another hole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably RPM. Um, California for something. Huh. But okay. it definitely says RPM. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. We'll get a picture of that. Uh, looks like this side might pinch out here, but we'll uh, take a little more look around and see if we can see what we find. Here we've got that RPM can. Probably uh, grease or oil or something. We've got... Uh, so that just faces out there. It looks like they blasted and stopped, and then it's got a um, ore pass there that probably leads to the big stope. Um, this one leads down to a level below us. Um, probably the same, same as this one. And uh, we'll have to see if we can get to that side of it, uh, out of that tunnel to the right. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. And then uh, this one. Let's go around down to that bottom there and see what that looks like. Because 
I think these two lead to the same place. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, this is undercut. Yeah, because it's all flooded out that way too. Bunch of stuff down in there. Wood and timbers. And, uh, might be worth checking out. Uh, we'll finish checking the rest of this one out. And uh, looks like it continues to go downward. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is how we came in. Okay. That's why it goes downward. Uh, this way. But then we came in from there. And uh, got some lights. Light wiring there. And a can lid. Some cable. And then this might lead around yeah I might go up to something on the other side there got a couple of ladders here more uh, hooks oh it goes up that way there's all the the wirings going up that way This little hill here. Let's see what else we can find. Some kind of cool colors there. A lot of blue in it. I don't know if you can see that, but oh, what do we got here? Pipe out of the wall. Yeah, can do that. Get up here. Oop. All right, another, uh, oh, what do we got here? Explosive box. Some kind of little pipe nipples, I guess. Pretty bad shape, though. Um, maybe a little work table or something up here. Hopefully that wasn't their dynamite storage under the water. Uh, let's see what this metal thing is here. A couple of bolts or something. Um, some more dynamite. Boy, it almost looks like they were trying to plug, plug it up here. How many wedges they've got driven in right there. And then that pipe there directing it out here. And a can lid in the in the minerals there. Um, what you got there? Uh, there's some odds and ends stuff. Yeah, head back over this way. It's kind of a newer ladder with some metal under the rungs. Got all the power here. Insulator. Hmm. Well, what's up with these little timbers they've got? Must have been for measuring or something. Um, got a pretty good size. Oh, that's that thing is soaked dynamite box there um, there's looking down at Ian and his dad there and then we'll head up this way looks like there might be some boxes in here oh yeah um, yeah nice box there that say I can't really tell hmm. and then this one here 
bunch of pieces to them. We stuck to the ground there. Yeah, we'll, uh, no, no letters still on it. One. No, yeah, just barely. What's that say? Get a picture of that because I don't know. I do see high explosives. Uh, yeah, I can't really tell. I'll have to take a better look at that. Maybe see if I can get some better pictures of it. But a uh, bunch of little box pieces up here. More of these. I don't know what those little tubes were. They don't look... Oh, they are... Uh, Possibly blasting caps. No, I haven't seen any like that, but they've got holes all the way around the end of them. They definitely look like they've been spent. Like they're spent. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. I haven't seen anything like that. Like they would uh, load that up with powder and um, run a fuse into it, I guess, and then uh, probably shove it in with uh, like that stick right there. Uh, I'm gonna look around a little more and uh, we'll start back up over over there. Kind of funny. Uh, I noticed this sticking out of the wall, and it's obviously newer. Uh, Sylvania, 200 watt, 125 volt, and it appears that it's epoxied into a drill hole there. Um, not really sure why anybody would do that, but uh, I'm going to head down and around the corner here, and then I think we'll be done with this big stope and uh, back to the back to the tunnel. So this is kind of the last part of this. That was that last pocket there, and uh, we've got another another explosives box here, but this one's oh yeah, that's an out atlas. So that one's kind of cool. You can still kind of read it. And a bunch of box pieces over here. And then this comes back right above where we came in. Um, so, is that, that's metal, I think. I don't know. Kind of odd, there are a bunch of uh, box pieces here. But uh, I know that piece is metal. It looks almost like nitro glycerin. But yeah, that one there. Look. No, don't do that. That is. That definitely is. That's nitro glycerin. Jesus Christ! <laughs> right in front of my face here. Don't do it. Don't hit anything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. That is absolutely dynamite. <laughs> yep. Nitro. Nice. All right. So we're uh, coming down from up there, and uh, I just we just ran across these old cart tires, wheels, and uh, a drill bit there, one there, uh, one there, two, a bunch of them kind of sunken in the, the waste rock here. Um, so we're going to head back out this way, I think, and uh, get back out to that main tunnel and, and uh, see what else we run into. Okay, so we are back out at the dam here. Uh, Jonathan's trying to sound like a ghost behind me. And uh, so we checked out as much as we could on that first stope, and we're going to uh, try and work our way through this murky water here. I've got something under my foot there. Yeah. And it uh, looks, doesn't look like we have too much further to go in the water here until um, that collapse there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera away again. And uh, once we, yeah, it's already shallow enough. So maybe I'll just leave it out so I don't drop it. But uh, definitely the most flooded one I've been in. Um, Oops. Tripping over stuff. I think that's rail on the ground. I keep, yeah, rail under my foot there to the left. Yeah. Well, it just kind of feels like just one, though. 
Maybe it's over there. Yeah. So we're it's over on the right side. So there might have been two tracks coming through here, and they pulled one, um, which I don't doubt. I guess it's still going past here. Oh, it is a little cold on the even with the waders, but release some pressure there. Got a little uh, raise right here. Doesn't really look like it goes anywhere. Get up in here a little further here. Yeah, just a pocket. It looks like it might go up to something, but um, a big rock hanging there. Well, we should be able to get to there. Um, and if not, we've got plenty of other stuff to check out in here. Um, some pipe and stuff. Head back down into the water here. Something square there. The only downside to being so flooded is you see stuff. Uh, or there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the ground, but you got to see it before you cloud the water up. Not uh, maybe a drill bit there. Uh, I'm just headed back here. I think we're gonna, oh yeah, we're gonna get to our first big stope here. Um, on this side anyway. That other one was pretty, pretty good size too. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think this is the, the real, real big one. You know, Ian's been in here before. Uh, him and his pops came in, checked this all out. And it is huge. Definitely. Um, so we'll wait for them to catch up and uh, get organized here a little bit and maybe try and uh, check out what we can up here. That one keeps going massively. Uh, we got a straight ahead branch and then it branches off here, geez, a couple of ways. So yeah, this is gonna be definitely a good one. All right, so we are in the first uh, little opening from that big stope. And uh, Jonathan's up here where I was gonna head. And then uh, they're over there checking out some minerals and stuff. Oh. And uh, figured we'd come up here and check this out. Might take a little bit to get up here, actually. Oh, these waders don't have the greatest of grip, but um, kind of a pocket over there. There's a look down at them and the way we came in there. And uh, me and uh, Jonathan are gonna continue on this way, check it out. Um, I have a feeling it, yeah, comes back to more stope, big chain. Oh yeah, uh, so we got kind of a tunnel across there. It looks like it opens up to another stope and an ore pass here that probably leads down to that water level and uh, more stoping up that way. There's even some up that way. Pretty, uh, pretty extensive workings out here. Um, so we're gonna, Hopefully, uh, be able to document it all today. That's a pretty cool little formation. I might have to um, check that this out. This is some bit. of the, uh, I'm guessing, some of the different minerals that are in here. Um, no idea what it is, but it's pretty cool looking, all sparkly and stuff. And then uh, I did notice up here um, that there is some some galena in there with kind of some white rock quartz probably around it. Um, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much the end of the road for us because um, I'm sure that ore pass goes to somewhere we can get to. And uh, I don't think we can get to any of the, the rest of it. So um, 
Get a quick picture and then we're gonna uh, head back out this way to where they're at and continue the explore. Um, so we're here back out at this big, huge stope. You can tell that thing goes a long ways down, um, all flooded out. There's a little, little side pocket, luckily right there, that doesn't, doesn't uh, look like it goes to anything. Maybe, maybe it takes it right there, but, uh, but then there's this big branch here that we're gonna check out next. Um, here in that that first stope, the stope is just amazing. How uh, how big it is! Uh, pretty amazing the amount of ore that they've taken out of here, and it's still all holding up, you know. Um, they use the room and pillar method um, in here because the deposit was so massive. Um, and that's kind of a like a coal mining technique more so than um, you know heavier minerals or whatever. Got a quick disconnect there from an air hose. Um, we got the rail down still here and we are right back into another big stope and a big metal. What the hell is that? Like a big metal skateboard. <laughs> it had it has nails sticking through it. There's another big spike right there. But uh I don't know what that's all about. Well to this big stope. Oh yeah, these are the getting into uh some of the miners graffiti. And uh there's some more up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Younger. This was uh, like 1958, I think. And uh, then we've got some big heavy strapping. It doesn't look like bacon strips um, that they would use to hold the back up. But a lot of big iron. Let me get up in here. There's another piece of that, that big thick steel... Uh, look like the skateboard or whatever um, goes up to the left comes down to the right here we got some air hose um, so I think we'll check out this direction first since it's the most right oh yeah you can see a there's a uh, at it or a tunnel level straight across right there there we go um, that we probably will not be able to get to. Uh, you got a chain hanging there on the wall. This thing is huge. There's a pillar there. Um, oh, there's a level right above us too there. But, uh, that's cool there, that, that little outcropping. If we could come out on top of that, that'd be... Like a diving board. Um, I think it was uh, the geologist or whatever when they were... Like this thing here is a monument. Um, so they would probably measure point to point and then try and put it together. Basically like GPS coordinates in here. A um, bunch of cable. Looks like there might be a drill bit or something over there too. Uh, with that cable. But uh, looks like... This is the end of the road, at least for down here. A uh, little pocket up that way. Big pocket up that way. Yeah, that's a pretty cool little, little outcropping there. And then this keeps going down. Another little monument there. Oh, oh yeah, we can get it. We can get to that. Cool. So there's a little trail up that way, so we'll be able to get up to that. Looks like there might be another uh, tunnel right there that used to lead straight across. Um, looks like this actually is the bottom here. Um, it's flooded out with water and those guys. But uh, yeah, this is, this is a pretty good one here. 
I'm gonna head up this way and uh, let's see what else we can find in here. We're just uh, you know, 700 level. I think though we came in on the thousand. Um, although reports say it's the 500 level, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, might be a 700 feet to something. The boys were here, at least. Um, so I think I'm going to continue on this way to the right. And I'll catch back up here at the top. We're up here above, uh, came into the left there. There's Ian and his dad down there. And then we came up along here. There's a little adit or uh, another level right there. Um, and then it looks like it might go up this way, but uh, keeping with the the right hand rule. Uh, oh, it's closed. Dang it. It says it's closed. We can't go in there. Oh, we should go in there though. Huh. So we got a decline. Oh, just right down to some water though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like there was a decline here. Oh, it's a probably four or five foot little drop and then only goes about 35, 40 feet down to the water level. Um, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, it says, it says it's closed, so we won't go in there anyway. But uh, we'll head back up and out of here. Kind of an interesting one. That's, uh, huh. I'll uh, get another little picture of that. And head up this way to the back there. <clears throat> All right, so that was uh, just right down there around the corner. And then we came up to here. Um, just to check it out, looks like a little pocket here um, that they were slushing out. There's a eyelet in the corner there. And then, uh, oh. Rock's a little crumbly, that one fell apart on me. Little pocket up there, I might check out. That's probably a, yeah, it's probably just a fault at the edge. That's probably what they were chasing though, um, right up there, but I won't bother getting up there. It's a little, a little slick, and I think it's just that little pocket there, so. Um, kinda looks like, that might be it for this one. I don't think we can actually get across there. Yeah, there's nothing to get to. But uh, that one, I want to get up there. That uh, little outcropping there. And there's the guys down there. That's the way we, we came in and everything. And uh, so... We'll head down into that tunnel and uh, check it out. Right. Decided uh, we went back to get flashlights and stuff. Um, Ian and his dad are in that tunnel there in the middle. And uh, we just ran across this is another one like I was trying to point out before. Uh, that end is threaded for the uh, detachable drill bits, but that's a, a drill steel there um, amongst all of this stuff. Yeah, up above us, there's a... I noticed that when we came in up there, I looked across because I saw that one first. And then I looked up and I was like, oh yeah, there's one up there too. But, uh, so we're going to head across over to them and uh, head up that tunnel there. All right, so we are up at the, the next tunnel, heading up here. And uh, a little drier, but a little muddier. A little bit of the track still in here. Cool insulators there. And, uh, a bunch of stuff in here. Comes back this way. Some pretty heavy cable they had running in here. Um, a shovel? Oh yeah, walked right over it. Yeah, it's kind of a modern one though. Probably. Yeah. Oh, there's part of the handle broke off right there too. But uh, we got a branch here. 
think we'll probably keep to the right for so now. It's just going to take an uh, ore chute, so you can go that way if you want. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll go check that out. Yeah. It's a big scope and an ore chute, that's it. Okay, and then this, this way keeps continuing on. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this one. Yep. Um, so there's a uh, ore chute here. It looks like up in there. That goes back up into that stope, I think. Maybe the top up uh, where that little cliff overhang was. And then this way keeps going back. Lots of plates and bolts and shovel handles, insulators. Lots of stuff in here. And another, another stope here with a ore chute. Yeah, that's got to go back up into that other, that other big stope. Huh? Just crazy. It goes way up in there. Another uh, picture of that. I think it just faces out right past here. Yeah, it's got those slots, so it had full gates on it. Oh, there's the gate right there. Yeah, so there's the uh, the ore chute gate that was in there. Got a... Is that another? Yeah, it is another Columbia box. That's odd. That one have writing on it? Yeah, this one's Columbia. I found one of those in the Yellowhead. And uh, that's the first I've heard of Columbia. Usually it's DuPont, uh, Atlas, or Giant around here, anyways. But, uh, oh, there's another one. Another good one there. Yeah. That one looks like it's uh, seen better days. That might, that's probably, they're kind of taller, those uh, Columbia boxes. They're a little taller than um, like the DuPont boxes and stuff. Yeah. Seeping out of there. Oh, yeah, there was some. I wouldn't doubt if there was some more dynamite in there. There's another box. There's a box. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Probably ought not spend too much time back here, but the air. Woo! Air monitor's not going off, so There's some kind of purple something there. Yeah. Oh, so we'll head back up and out of here, and then back to that main branch, and uh, might try and find our way up into there somehow if we can, eventually. But uh, for now.